welcome to Patty Puckett Pouring Art. I'm going to try, um, I did the web effect. Um, I don't know if I'm going to do this video first or the one, the red, black, and silver web effect. But um, I'm going to try to do that again using different colors. This time I'm not using a satin enamel paint. I, I am using the black, a gold, and a just a regular acrylic turquoise. These are just acrylics, no satin in here. Um, this is the Artist Loft Black. This is Grumbacher Turquoise Green. And this is the Artist Loft Gold. So I'm going to try to do it the same way as I did the other one. And what I did, I'm going to layer one layer in the cup. I'm going to go ahead and take the turquoise that I layer in the cup, make it thinner, put a base coat down, and then I'm going to do a pour over it in the order you see here, turquoise, black, and gold. Then I'm going to tilt and see if I get some pearls and some web effect. Um, anyway, let's get started, see what happens. So first I'm going to do turquoise. This is a 9 by 12 canvas. And a gold. I think the last time I did the silver, and so I'm just trying to recreate that. And I think it's because of the satin and the metallic, how they interacted. But I guess we'll find out. Um, it could be just the brand of paint. It could be the silver reacted more than the gold's going to. But anyway, I have it in the cup. I'll be right back. I'm going to go ahead and flood coat this with a thin turquoise. And then I'll do a pour. Be right back. Okay, I have the turquoise laid out. Um, my flood coat, base coat. I'm going to pop the air bubbles. There's a few here that looks like an air bubble there. Maybe it's not. Maybe someone else. Okay, I'm going to go ahead and pour it on. Weird, the color I'm seeing in my screen is like a, doesn't even look like this beautiful turquoise blue. It looks more like a sky blue. So, I don't know what's going on with my camera. Okay, I'm going to start pouring. Um, I got it in the cup. Do I want to do the... Let's see how I want to pour this. Pouring it. So, okay. I'm going to go ahead and pour the gold first. a few minutes and see if something starts happening. Black coming through. This is just Floetrol and water. Probably, uh, I really didn't measure this batch. If I had to take a guess, I probably went with probably 50-50 flow troll and water. Or maybe 75-25 and then this flow, flood coat 50-50. To a consistency where it forms a mound, this part forms a mound. And then it sinks. It does leave a little tiny trace. This just, the background sunk right away.
but I like different. Sorry, I can't show you like that. I'll have to do you a close up after. It's just pretty cool. So I'll be right back with, um, actually I'm going to wait about 10 minutes and see if something comes up. Well, the blue's already come up, so where the black is, I see some of the turquoise coming up. Other than that, the, the black really, I mean, the turquoise really came through, whereas my other ones, the black stayed and the red, the pearls are, they're really not that round, but I call them pearls, um, barely came through on a couple and then I had a nice web effect. So I'm going to try this again with some other colors, but I guess it's webbing. Look at this gold is starting to really come up now. So I'll be right back in about 10 minutes and we'll see if we can see how much it's changed. It can be close up a little bit. Just Hi everyone. I'll get you real close up um, in just a minute, but it changed in the way of it did give me some the web effect, and that metallic gold just came on through a lot brighter. I've got a lot of lacing here on the sides. The gold is just really, it's just a, I love it. It's beautiful. Um, the colors are just gorgeous. So I think. It's the metallic and the way you pour it in the cup. I only had one layer that's causing this, but I'm going to do a few more. And like I said, I don't know what order I'm going to put them on YouTube, but I'd appreciate it if you subscribe. Um, and if you look back in my prior videos, I have, you know, how to glitter a wet pour, how to put hangers, how to back your paintings, how to put hangers on how to varnish, how I varnish my paintings. I did a calendar of pours, so if you want to give them, give them as gifts, um, <clears throat> I have an example of what I did. Um, I did coasters, I did the cloud effect, um, pearls, um, I did a couple dips, um, overlays of a real, of a crappy pour. I did an overlay with just Floetrol, made it look a lot better. Um, string pulls, different types of string pulls where you had regular string, yarn, and chain and showing the difference. Um, injection pours, I love those. Those are cool too. And you know, how to resin coasters and how to back coasters. So if you'd subscribe, maybe look back on my previous videos. Hopefully you'll learn something and I'll bring you right down. Okay, here we go. So down see how pretty that lacing is and how the gold is just coming through lacing webbing and I do have a few the turquoise coming through the black right here but not very much <clears throat> I think if I would have put a little bit more black in here might have done something. Anyway, it's just, I really love it. Shimmery, that's the um, Artist Loft Gold. Really, really cool. 9 by 12. Anyway, thanks everyone for watching and I look forward to your comments and cheers. Have a great night.